Right, it's uh, ten past ten in the evening, Sunday, 21st of June 2009. As I said earlier on, I knew I'd have to cut a bit more of this plate out, so hopefully you can see now. I've obviously cut along this line, right up to the end. Um, I've just basically jacked the car up again, managed to get the draft off in that end. Um, that's probably about the width now on this side anyway, on the left hand side, of the yellow plate that my motor presently sits on. So hopefully, that's not going to restrict me too much, but obviously it does mean that I can't now put a, uh, a gusset at the moment on this side. But obviously I won't know for sure until I get the uh, motor bolted in the right place and see how things go from there. Uh, as you can see, got quite a bit of a gap down here at the moment. I've got a good inch and a half in here, which gets wider, and a good bit of a gap that I can get my finger underneath there. Obviously that bit doesn't move. Obviously the UJ is in here, so the first bit removed is obviously around this area here. Uh, what I will do later on is jack the car up in a minute and see what happens, because obviously the uh, the car will sustain some movement during its uh, journeys. So just bouncing them down at the moment. Being that the plate itself Presently got a jack underneath it, but obviously it'll be um, bolted securely, probably onto that mountain air somehow later on. Or maybe I might bolt that on simply onto the motor itself. That's the um, driver's side engine mount bracket on the chassis, where the um, top of the cam cover used to be mounted. Um, obviously, it won't be a lot of movement, as much as there will be at the moment when I'm leaning on it. The actual plate itself is going up and down as well because it's got a jack under it. So it looks like it'll be okay. I'm going to uh, just throw the jack underneath the front of the car here. And the moment as I'm jacking it up, the actual dry shaft's getting further and further away from the plate. The wheels are now off the ground, and that gap there now is about two inches or so. Obviously, that gap here, this end, stayed the same. So, hopefully, that's about as much as I've got to cut off of here. I now eagerly await the coupler, which hopefully I'll get sometime this week. So, I'd like to think I'll be out here next Sunday or Saturday trying to line up the uh, motor on this plate. And if all things go well, Maybe even do a bit of a test run just to see if the wheels turn and what sort of uh, noise it makes. Got to put some oil back in the gearbox to make it so doesn't sound too bad. But yeah, it's getting there slowly. Uh, as I said before, once I get the motor in, get it all turning, I can think about uh, what else I might need to buy because at the moment this has pretty, been pretty um, sort of free. The uh, metal I found lying around, obviously the wire for the welding and such, like I've got all the jewels I've got. So at the moment, it hasn't really cost me uh, much at all. The coupler will cost me a little bit of money when it gets made up. But hopefully, that'll be okay. So that's all for now. And let's see what next week brings.